guys, so today I'm going to be doing another haul. There's only a short one from Superdrug. And I'm sorry if my makeup looks really bad and my hair's all frizzy. It's like 11 o'clock here. I just thought I'm bored, so I'm going to do a video. So, I got loads. Well, not loads, but uh, a few stuff from Superdrug. And they were so nice enough to give me this. Look at myself in the face. That part, hashtag that party feeling bag. Which is really handy because I have so much makeup now. I'm running out of places to put it. So I've just put all the stuff I don't use in this bag under the bed. So much easier. We'll start with the boring stuff. Superdrug are very kind, I think, enough to give me this free skin cleanser, which I have never seen before. It's from Superdrug and it's... I don't say how much it is, actually. Gentle skin cleanser. That's all it says. I haven't tried it yet, but I will do eventually and let you know what I think. This little tub. Next is my MUA Pro Face Primer. And I haven't actually been keeping an eye on this i haven't actually been thinking oh how's my makeup looking because i've been so busy at work with vitamin a and e and tea tree oil but it smells really nice so yeah i'll let you know how this turns out as well hopefully it's good it's only like four pound and mu are pretty good so i trust them it's very exciting my real techniques brushes they're so cute um, I've already used these three, as you can see they're a bit dirty. This one's an eyeliner, brow, I don't really use my brows. This one is just like a small eyeshadow, eyeshadow, and a blender brush. So they're all called... Uh, Deluxe Crease Brush. Base Shadow Brush. Accent brush, a liner brush, and a brow brush, which is pretty simple. And it came in this really cute case, which you can like on display, and then you can do like that to carry it around in, it looks a bit more professional. But yeah, I'm really enjoying these three brushes, especially this one. It's so good at blending compared to my other one. My other one's like cheap from Amazon. And this is like, gets right in the crease and it's really good. Now this is like the coolest palette I've ever seen. A holographic hashtag selfie palette. It's so cool. Look. I'm literally in love with it. I cannot stop playing with it. And it comes with this free eye primer. Which is, um, I've used it once, it's pretty good. And it's like, comes out of glittery. You can see all the glitter. But yeah, rub that in. It's supposed to prime your eyes. Can't see. And it's got some really cool colours, and they're actually named after like Instagram hashtags, like Gold Digger, Orcs, Love, How Many Likes, and all this stuff. It's really cool. And it's from I've never heard of this brand. It's called I Love Makeup. Well, it said it's everybody, but. I thought this was from Revolution because I saw my super drug and I thought, oh my god, a selfie palette. I have to get it. So I did. And it was really cool. I'll show you the colours. If I can open them. It's really small actually. But it comes with a mirror and pigment here. Yeah, they're pretty good actually. Best brand in the world. Well, for eyeshadow, not for lipstick. I'll come back to you about that later. I'm very disappointed with the revolution about the lipstick. So this is flawless, because revolution is. And it's so pretty. Even the case is pretty. It's so shiny. Dun, da, da, da. Eyeshadow galore, and I don't want to drop it. It's just amazing. There's so many sparkly ones. I don't come with Matt. I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of Matt. Obviously, you know that. But yeah, look at the glittery ones. Pigmented. Obviously, Revolution can be great. Pigment. Well, sort of. Yeah, this is such a good case, and it's got all the shades on the back of my thing. Yes, this is amazing palette. I've got the other one beyond flawless, but they're both flawless because they're named that. 
revolution I have a bone to pick with you this is crap sorry but it's crap honestly I'm so annoyed about this it's only one pound fair enough but it's such a nice color hot pink you'd think it'd be pigmented yeah you can see it a little bit but what what's that what's that huh Look, ready I will show you There's only a little bit of shine. Now, if I keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, now that's what it's supposed to come out like. But that's in like maybe what, maybe even two strokes. This is like 16. <laughs> I'm really annoyed because Revolution is so well at pigment with eyeshadow, and then this is just like pathetic. Okay, so I don't even know what the color is. Sweetheart, sweetheart, you need to get better at your pigment. Sorry, I had to do that. Yeah, don't recommend the Revolution lipstick, but everything else from Revolution is fab. Okay, just not lipstick. Maybe the lip gloss, I'll have a go at that. I might give it the benefit of the doubt, but this is no. Now, on to better things. Sleek lip lacquer. I've got two shades here. One is red. And one is like a pale pink. This one is party pink. This one is petal. And I'll show you petal first. Yeah, it's right for pale, nudie pink. And it'll dry, dry it'll dry, dry as it does it. It's so matte. It's really pretty. It's like a it looks much more nude in my hand than it is in my face because I'm quite pale. So this colour reminds me of my old MUA whipped velvet um, lip gloss. Yeah, it, very pale. Too pale for me. Sort of. So instead, because I'm so done with the matte thing now, I use my Oh My Gloss from a London lip gloss in the shade Twinkle Twinkle <coughs> over the top of the other one and it doesn't really make a difference there we go because the gloss is obviously not going to be like pigmented but yeah I think this is really nice because it adds a bit of moisture and glitter to the colour which makes it darker and doesn't make me look so washed out so yeah I'm kind of cheating but oh well one of the annoying things about sleek matte me is it's really hard to take off with a wet wipe but then throughout the day it comes off easily that's quite irritating but yeah this is a party, party, party pink one which is actually red I don't know why they call it party pink because it's clearly a bright red Gorgeous. So I've never had a red matte one before, even though I've got the Miley Cyrus one, but that's not really matte because it's MAC and they're not really big on selling drying dry products. Yeah. Oh. Very bright, very nice. Yeah, when I, I wore this one out, out the other night. It's actually quite orange under a bright bathroom light. So I was like, oh, I don't really want orange. Obviously, in this light, it looks like flawless. But when you're going out, it does look rather orange. Just to warn you. And it does dry very matte. So, like I said, I'll probably put a red lip gloss over it because I don't like dry lips. Another thing I bought from Amazon was this... Um, really long rose gold ipad and um, ipod charger it works for like any apple device and it's really good this is a doesn't say how long it is no it should do it's like it's like really long like normal chargers like that right well this is like that it's really long like it's ridiculous. I can literally plug it in and be 
all the way on this side of the bed watching Nine Two One Zero. So that's really cool. I bought two because the Apple chargers, that like the cheap ones, the cheap short ones you get from Amazon, are like rubbish. So I got two of these. And my boyfriend has trouble with charging his phone. So he uses my other one. Okay, so I was just about to read out the prices to you of how much each thing costs. And I realised there's no price on here. Brilliant. So I'm going to have to remember. This was £8. Either way, £8. I think this was about three, four, five pounds maybe. With the free eye primer. Like I said, this was one pound. This free bag was, as I said, free. I think it's because I spent like 15, 20 quid. Sorry. I think, well, I got this ages ago, but I think it was about eight pounds from Vermont. These two were four pounds each, I'm guessing. This was from Amazon, actually. I think it was about I'd like to say eight to eleven pound, which is quite good. This was four quid. This was free. And these were nine pound each. That's the thing. They are really long and really helpful, but they're nine pound each. I think that's it. And before I go, I just want to quickly mention my hair. I want to show you how long it is. I'm literally amazed at how long this has got. Like. I haven't been using any tablets or like special serum, it's just gotten really long, really rather fast. I think the last time I had it properly cut, like shortened, okay, yeah last time I got it like probably shortened was about, probably last year actually, I just haven't had it like cut properly, I just had it trimmed. I don't know how I'm going to sit like this. Yeah, you can't even see it past that, but... Yes, it's very long. As we just mentioned it, and I don't know when I'll get it cut next, because I really like the length. But I've been so busy at work, if I... Yeah, look. But I've been so busy at work, and I've just... And I haven't got a week off until the end of this month. So I'm like, when do I get it cut? When do I get time off? Because everybody's leaving work and everybody's ill. I realised with my hair down and my lipstick on, I look as pale as a sheep. So thanks for watching my video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!